so this is going to be a bit of an update video, um, as well as a sort of makeup collection video. Um, I, it is currently about 2 o'clock in the morning, um, and I couldn't sleep, so, um, I decided to pull out my camera and make my first real ASMR video in several months. Um, so you'll have to excuse my appearance. Um, I was trying to go to sleep, so my hair is a mess and I'm in my pajamas. Um, so I got a job working at e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's a makeup store. Um, there's very few of them. Um, but, suffice to say, I work at a store called ELF. It stands for Eyes, Lips, Face. And, um, when I started there, I bought a ton of stuff because that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> um, we are, like, kind of required to wear ELF makeup. Um, because we're supposed to be selling it. So, I wanted to make sure that I was well stocked for work. Um, there's some things you can get away with not wearing um, as e.l.f., such as like foundation, mascara, um, like standard black eyeliner, uh, and then just like as long they're okay with it as long as we have something to match it in the store. So if you have like a dark red lipstick on, you need a dark red lipstick that matches in the store. So I got kind of, for me at least, a couple of staple items. This is the bag. This is the shopping bag I give you. And it's kind of like one of those. The reusable shopping bags. You never know what to call this fabric, but it's not quite canvas, but and you can see on the back. Oh, studio eyes, lips, face. And I do really like this brand. Um, it's not really one of my favorites, um, but there's a lot of things about it that there's a lot of things in the brand that are one of my favorite things. Um, and I'll talk about that as I go through it, because I have some of it here. Um, but it's an extremely inexpensive makeup line. Um, everything is about one to six dollars. Um, the only things that are more expensive are eyeshadow palettes. Um, certain concealer palettes are eight dollars. Um, uh, brush sets are like 20 to 35 um, but for like I said for the most part everything is only about one to six dollars and I'll also tell you guys how much each thing was in case you want to get it yourself so let me kind of pull everything out organized a little bit more it's kind of stupid because I put everything in here in the first place I should have I shouldn't have done that There is also a skincare line um, that I haven't tried yet, but I'm really interested to try. Um, but that's another one of the ones that's a little bit more expensive. It's more um, more in the range of like like ten to twenty dollars, I guess. But even then, it compared to other skincare, other skincare is outrageously expensive. You know the wind outside. It has been a really, really crazy day as far as weather. Um, it was completely calm this morning, and then all of a sudden, um, I heard really loud wind, and I pulled up my window shade, and the trees were basically bending over backwards. Um, it was really, really intense.
I'm almost done. There are a lot of little things that I'm grabbing out of the bottom. That's a lipstick. Okay, that's it. So, I'll start with something quick and easy. Um, the reason I remembered that they have skincare is that they have, they have some things that I feel like are a little bit random, almost. Like these. These are vanilla and coconut lotion wipes, which is not something I would have ever thought about using before as lotion wipes, but um, they intrigue me, and they're only $3, um, and I get a discount, so I thought that they seemed interesting. It says, Hydrate your body with silky smooth moisture. The light and airy lotion moisturizes the skin, keeping it soft and supple all day long. Infused with aloe, cocoa butter, vitamin E, soy, ginkgo biloba, coconut milk, and sweet almond oil to revitalize and nourish the skin. Open packet and remove a lotion wipe. Gently apply to skin wherever you would like to hydrate and moisturize. Dispose of the wipe in a trash receptacle. After removing wipe, Reseal and close lid. So, I always have to be careful these days with lotions and skincare products because I am allergic to um, cucumber and a lot of skincare products have cucumber in them. Um, I also have extremely sensitive skin, um, mostly on my face, but other places as well, like other, like my legs and my arms and stuff. Um, this is not a in an e.l.f. product, but this is um, a makeup remover from Kiko Milano. And I tried this in the store on my hand, just taking off makeup that I had swatched. And it felt fine, and it was $3, I think. Um, they had like a special on their eye makeup remover. So I bought it, and I brought it home, and I went to my first day at e.l.f. And, um went to take my makeup off when I got home and did this side of my face with one cotton pad and my entire face swelled up on this side and my eye swelled shut and I had a horrible allergic reaction and the irony of it is that this is supposed to be hypoallergenic. So I actually haven't used these wipes yet. Um, I'm actually going to use one now. This might be interesting. I don't believe you're supposed to use this on your face. It doesn't specify whether you should or not. Um, but I'm going to assume no. I really wanted to try the smell too. Mm, it smells okay. something really odd about using a lotion wipe. Oh, I guess I kind of feel it because it feels wet. It doesn't feel like a typical lotion. It smells really nice. Um, kind of just like generic vanilla, coconut, lotion, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the texture feels okay. Nothing out of this world or anything. And I think a wipe is a little bit impractical for applying a skincare product because for one, it's not very visible, the product on it. Like, you think lotion wipe and you'd think there would be a lot of visible product on it, but it's really just, it's pretty dry. I feel like if you were realistically using this to apply lotion to yourself, you would use more than one um, for like if you were doing like your legs and your arms and everything. Um, and that packet, well, it's only three dollars, but it only comes with fifteen. And it comes with 15 wipes. So, 
maybe not the most practical buy, but I was interested and I wanted to try it out. And I don't think that my skin likes us very much. Um, it's kind of burning a little bit. But don't let that discourage you from buying it because it's just me having super sensitive skin. It'll calm down. Okay, um, moving on. I'll do, I've got a ton of lip products, so I'm going to kind of save those for last. This one's really, really simple. This is just eyelid primer. Um, I actually don't use this eyeshadow primer. It's okay, it's decent, and it was only a dollar. So, I mean, it's worth it. Um, I use Wet n Wild's eyeshadow primer. But you can see it's... Tube. It comes with kind of like a lip gloss applicator and it's got a little bit of color but it kind of goes away when you blend it in as long as you're, you're pretty pale. If you've got darker skin tones it's probably going to show up a little bit more but you're supposed to be layering it under an eyeshadow anyway so I think they do have um they have colored ones of these like um, there's like a shimmery gold and then a bronzy one, but somebody told me that it's not very good. Um, one of my, my new co-workers, it, um, when you go to kind of blend it out, the product, the color kind of balls up and it doesn't blend well and then it gets like kind of clumpy almost. So far it sounds like I don't like this brand, I promise I really do. Um, I'll show, I'll show the eyeshadows next. These are pretty nice. I bought one little eyeshadow palette. This was actually before I started at e.l.f. Um, I went and bought it at Target, um, which is where most, mostly I've seen e.l.f. is at Target and, um, like a little end cap display at Walmart. Um, but I knew I wanted something kind of purpley, so I found this at it. And it's called Matte Fur Plum. And it's just a little eyeshadow quad. And it's got like a creamy base color and you can see how like these colors are surprisingly pigmented. I think this palette was only $3 at Target. I think it's about, about the same at work. They're not crazy out of this world pigmented, like they're not like naked eyeshadow palettes. Um, but for the price, they're pretty decent. And I'm just watching these mostly not over a primer. Because I did have a little touch of primer on my hand. You can't even really see the cream color, but it's there. Um, and you can't really tell that it's perfect. But that's the eyeshadow palette, and um, I used this my first day. I used it with um, a couple of the other products I'm going to show, and I thought it came out pretty interesting. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll share the link to my my Instagram picture that I posted of it. So I guess on that note, I'll move on to what is one of my favorite products from Elf, and that's their smudge pots. So smudge pots are, to be honest, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be because they have smudge pots and then they have cream eyeshadows. But to me, that's what these are. You can use them as eyeshadow, eyeliners. Um, some people have used them as mascara, but I feel like that's just a nuisance. Um, but I have three of them. This is the one that I used my first day. And this one, did I buy this at? Target? I either bought this at Target or I already had it. Oh no, I found this at the dollar store. So I think this was a dollar. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright, I'm going to swatch all of them. This first one is called Brownie Points, which being a former Girl Scout, I liked. It's that coppery color that my camera won't focus on. It's really creamy and pigmented. 
And then I got these next two from my work called Gotta Glow. I haven't used this one actually yet. Oh wait, I did use this. I used this as a highlight. Probably not gonna be able to see that very well, but it's just like a light champagne shimmer. This one is Poppin' Party. This one came very odd. There was like a white cream on the edge. It was kind of disturbing. Ah, oh, this one's so cool. This is like a dark plum purple and it's got shimmer in it. I actually used this as a lipstick. This is what they look like. And these come inside of like a flat packaging. A lot of these kind of come separate. This is part of their, I don't know what the line is called, but I just call it the pink and white packaging. And all of the things in that packaging are one to three dollars. It's usually what you're going to find in stores, uh, is this style of packaging. All of the black packaging that I'll show you as I continue is the um, e.l.f. Cosmetics Studio line. Next we have the eyeliners. And for some reason these have different packagings to them. Um, one of them I got at Target, and the other one I got in store. So this is the black cream eyeliner, and this is the one that I got from, from work, and it's called Teal Tees. It's just a really pretty and sparkly teal color, and they both come with the teeniest little brush that I used on my eyebrows, so it's dirty, hold on. Um, comes with this little teeny teeny little angled eyeliner brush. And I'll show you the teal. Mm, the brush was still dirty, so it's not very You can see where the brush was still had some darker color on it. I used this the other day with um, a Kiko Milano eyeliner on my inner, my inner corner, my waterline, um, and it was really pretty. Uh, I don't think I'm going to show you the black, um, just because it's, uh, you know what, I will, I will, because the e.l.f. Black Cream Liner is my favorite product from e.l.f. Um, because at one point I had Max Black Track Fluid Line. It's their, their cream eyeliner and it's supposed to be like the best gel cream eyeliner on the market and I hated it. And then I had this stuff and I thought this was like... 10 times better, and the MAC Black Track was like $19, I think, and this is only either a dollar or three dollars. And it's just so creamy and pigmented, and it just glides on so well. I just think it's such a good black eyeliner. And the brush that it comes with is so thin, you can get right up against your eyelashes without giving yourself, like, a super, super thick eyeliner wing.
And speaking of eyeliner, this is another one of my favorite products from e.l.f. And this is their liquid eyeliner. Um, I've used this on my beauty channel before, actually. Um, I'm not sure what happened to that bottle that I had. But this is a new bottle. I don't know why I just did like three little eyelashes, but... It's just their liquid eyeliner. It's very standard. Um, it's very thin. The formula. Which, um, this actually, this isn't my favorite eyeliner to use, um, but I buy it because it's cheap. Um, I like the, see I haven't tried, I haven't seen if Wet n Wild changed their liquid eyeliner. They came out with these really pretty pastel colored eyeliners for spring. Um, and the, the applicator, like the brush, was like a pointed sponge tip applicator and it applied eyeliner so perfectly. I wish that they had put out a black in that form, but I'm pretty sure that Wet n Wild still has this kind of a brush, which I'll show you is like a regular bristle brush and it's just kind of like a very thin detail brush um, but if Wet n Wild changed all of their eyeliners over to that sponge tip I might switch back to that instead of using the e.l.f. Um, before I get into the lipsticks, I'll show you this product that I actually haven't used so far yet, but it's called Makeup Lock and Seal, and it's supposed to be like a, um, I mean what it sounds like, like it seals in your makeup, but it's supposed to add a waterproof quality to your makeup. It comes in like a little dropper bottle like this, and I won't actually do it because I don't want to waste it, but I say that like this is expensive. <laughs> and then it comes with a little jar like this. And you just drop it in there. And then it comes with a brush. Which I assume you can use any brush, but this is just what it comes with. I find it weird that the brush, it, it has a name on it. It's called a mini blending brush, and this is nothing at all like a blending brush. It's like a flat paddle style brush, but you would dip it into here and soak the bristles. And then you can dip it into a cream, a powder, um, an eyeliner, your foundation, a highlighter, anything like that. Um, and it's supposed to add a sealant quality and a waterproof quality to your makeup. I haven't used it yet because um, I just haven't had an opportunity um, or an instance where I was going to need waterproof makeup so um, and I didn't want to just waste it just to use it. Oh and really quick, um, these are kind of sort of irrelevant I guess but these are two brushes that I have from e.l.f. How do you open this? brushes are so nice. This is the pointed foundation brush. Just a little warning, I'm going to brush the camera. I know that my camera tends to be a little loud, so I thought I would give you a warning before I just started brushing it. this to apply foundation. Um, you can use this to apply highlighter, blend out your foundation, blend out your contour.
and it's super, super soft. Plus it looks really nice, and this brush was only $3. Um, all of the black ones, um, with the exception of the kabuki brushes, are $3, including the eyeshadow brushes. Um, any of the white bristled ones are um, $6, and I have one of those here too. Um, this one is called like the sculpting face brush or something, um, but I like it because of the shape. I use this for highlighter and for contouring and a little bit for blending too. It's a lot stiffer. It's not as fluffy. Um, and you can tell that it's it's more it's a little bit more expensive for a reason. The bristles are a better quality than the black ones. Not that the black ones are a bad quality. It's just you can you can justify the three dollar price jump, and I have sparkles all over my fingers now because I used this for my highlighter the other day. And last, we just have my favorite part, which is the lip products. Um, I'll start with like the less exciting ones, which is all of the lip tints and stuff. This one is not the color that you think it is. It's not this bright green. This is actually a lip exfoliator. So it's a lip scrub in like a lipstick form. I don't know why I'm showing you on my hand because you're not going to see anything, but it's got little tiny crystals in it. And this one is the mint one. And I think it has a, a different name in the store. On the bottom it says Mint Maniac. But it tastes really good and it does the job. Um, it comes in two other flavors. You can eat it and everything. It comes in Sweet Cherry and Original, which I think the original is probably just like a sugar flavor. Um, then I have lip tints. This is my favorite one and I'm going to put this one on. Um, oh, and the lip exfoliator I believe was $3. Um, actually, I think the rest of this, all of these should have been $3 except for this next one. This is... Oops. Um, it's just a tinted lip balm. It doesn't have a specific name, but in Berry Sweet, and it comes like this. And there were a couple of different colors in this one. Um, there was a bright red. There was more of a spice brown color. Um, a hot pink, and this one is just a berry color. It doesn't add a ton of color because it's just supposed to be a tinted balm. Um, I think this might have SPF in it. It might be SPF 15. And it has this cooling, like, minty, cinnamony, herbal flavor and sensation, which I really, really like. And I bought that one after I bought this. This is a new product from e.l.f their new product line called Aqua Hydrus or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. They all have this blue cap to them. This one might have been four dollars. But I'm actually pretty disappointed with this one. Um, you can tell that I like berry shades when it comes to tints because this one is called Dewy Berry. And I'm not going to put this on because I don't like how it feels, but I'll show you on my hand. And it comes as like a lipstick, or lip gloss. Okay, that's enough for that. 
and it's a very liquidy product like it's not a thick gloss or a moisturizing balm um, the reason I was disappointed with this was because this particular um, line was all supposed to be very hydrating products. You can see it just kind of has a faint tint to it. They were all supposed to be very hydrating products because um, they were infused with water, which, as somebody who actually went through skincare and everything, I learned that water in itself is not actually hydrating for your skin and in fact can dehydrate your skin, which is why you need products um, like emollients in skincare products to hydrate your skin. So putting, infusing water into beauty products is not going to make them hydrating. Um, but, I mean, I had hopes that it was going to be decent products, and um, I'm not a fan of the lip stain, lip tint, whatever it's called, because um, it has a very drying feel to it. It reminds me of the lip stain markers that you might have seen before. Um, it's just got that thin, watery consistency, and then when it dries, it just feels very drying. I feel like I need to put a lip balm on, and I feel like if I'm going to do that, I might as well just use this, because I also feel like this gives me better color, and it's more consistent. It's not patchy, which the lip gloss is. It can be patchy. Um, but from that line, they have these, I think they call them molten liquid eyeshadows or something like that. They're not lipsticks, but you can use them as lipsticks. They're um, like different metallic shades. There's a gold, um, there's a copper, a bronze, and a rose gold. And they are amazing. I still need to buy one because I really like them. Um, and then this one was disappointing to me a little bit because I really like black lipstick. They had a black lipstick called Blackout, and it's just not very pigmented. Like, this is a couple of swipes, so you'll see a little bit more of the color, but... With just one swipe, it's kind of just... It's, it's very patchy, and it doesn't go on very well. I actually... I applied this, and then I just used an e.l.f. cream highlighter over top of it, and I felt like that kind of eliminated the point. So this one I actually haven't taken out yet, so let me unpackage it. And I'll actually show you what the packaging looks like. This is their matte lip colors, which I am in love with these. Um, I'm probably going to buy every shade that we have. This is, I think, my favorite one right now. This one is called Praline, and I'm not sure where I'm going to swatch this. And you can see it's like a twist up pencil. And this is a really nice um, nude shade for everybody. Um, I've tried this, I wear this on myself. I've tried this on darker skin tones, more cool tones, warm tones. Um, yellow tones, pink tones, any kind of skin tone, and this seems to work perfectly for them. Um, I mean, it's gonna, obviously, it's gonna be darker on lighter skin tones and lighter on darker skin tones, but it seems to work so far on everybody. And it's a really nice, um, neutral tan, I guess, because it's really not necessarily a nude, um, because you say nude and people picture, like, this color which is racist, <laughs> um, but um, I call it a nude since it does work for many, many skin tones. Um, but that is my favorite one so far. It's very, um, 
as much as I loathe her Kylie Jenner-esque with her liquid lipsticks. I think the one that I'm thinking of is like Coco K or something like that. Uh, reminds me of that. This was the first one that I tried and I really, really liked it. This is T Rose. And for me, this is, this is like my, this is one of my go-to lip colors. It's right here. Sorry, the lighting is so terrible, but um, it's like a light mauve pink color. This is another shade that's kind of like a nude for me, um, but just a hint of color. Um, I really liked it. This shade is very similar to another one that they have called Natural. But Natural is a little bit more peachy toned or orange toned, and I lean more towards pinks. Um, than anything orange or corally. And then the last one, which I picked this up at Target. I was going to wear this on my first day, and for some reason I didn't. Um, but I actually wasn't as big a fan as I thought I was going to be of the color. This is Rich Red. Um, red, bright red lips, is my really true, um, signature lip color that I go for. Um, I just think it suits me, but this color was not what I was expecting. It's a lot more orangey, it's a lot brighter than I typically like. Um, I usually like a pretty deep red, not necessarily a dark red. Um, like not necessarily a cranberry or a burgundy, which I do like, but I typically go for a nice cool deep red. For my lipstick, um, I try to avoid the brighter orangey tones, because to me, on my complexion, because I'm very pale, um, it winds up looking clamish. Um, so it just doesn't, doesn't work for me. Um, so I will probably use that with like another color all over top. I'll use like a, a lip, lip gloss or something to tone it down. Um, so I'll still use it because I like the consistency and I do like the product, but it's just not my color. And because I didn't have a reaction to this on my hand, I'm going to use the Kiko makeup remover to take all of this off. And then because it is... my clock is off so I have to do math. It is nearing 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, once I take all of this off, I believe I'm going to go to bed, or try at least. Um, as I may have mentioned in videos before, I have horrible insomnia, um, and I also took a pretty late nap today, um, because I was off today. So I kind of screwed myself over there, it was my own fault. And just as a side note, um, don't buy Kiko Milano makeup remover because stuff sucks. <laughs> Even if it weren't for the fact that I'm apparently allergic to it, or sensitive to it, I should say, it doesn't really do an overall great job. Kind of scrubbing at this a little bit here. Um, so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed my first video in many months. Um, I am hoping to do more videos more frequently. Um, I do work at ELF on the weekends, um, Friday through Sunday, sometimes Thursday, that's what my availability is supposed to be. Um, and I'm doing magazine work for a local magazine, makeup work, um, and then I'm supposed to work at my other job. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I haven't been getting hours at that one. Thus why I have three and a half jobs. I say three and a half because the magazine work is volunteer work. I don't get paid for it, but it's still like a job. Um, it's like every, every month or so, every three weeks or so, um, Sunday shoots. But anyway, um, I thought I would give you guys that quick little update on my life and um, show you a 
little makeup collection video. Um, if there are any requests that you have, feel free to leave them, but I will tell you that I have a ton of ideas for role plays right now, and I just have to get around to, well, getting everything ready and set for said role plays, um, finding the time, and, um, having any clean enough room to shoot in because I suck at cleaning my room. Um, so I hope to see you guys again shortly, soon, um, and hopefully get more role plays out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I've said that probably three times now. <laughs> I'm not very good at ending videos, I guess. But I hope you all have a good night. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Good night.